oh, hello there, sorry I took me last to start, it's recording, just tidying up my hair, um, hello there, this is Dolly, how you doing, you okay? Good, good, me? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you for asking, not that you did. Um, so, uh, yeah, my lovely friends, Minx Laura 125, 123, sorry. Every time I forget that bloody number. So, yeah, Minx Laura 123 has asked me to do another video for her YouTube channel. It's very exciting. So, I was like, okay, if you want me. Here I am. So, yeah, this video is going to be a very helpful video. I, Dolly, am going to be an agony aunt. You can rely on me to help you. You know, like you get them newspapers, magazines, and someone will write in, you know, hello, got a problem, can you help me? And then the lady or the man will be like, yeah, it's what you should do. It's going to be kind of like that. But instead of writing back with an answer, I'm going to be talking. So I really do tell it like it is. Dolly tells it like it is okay. So, you know, as I say, I'm very blunt. I'm very honest. Some people would possibly say I could be offensive. But I never mean it. I don't mean to be offensive. I just, you know, say what I feel, you know. But because of the reason I can be quite harsh with my answers for people's problems, I thought I'd ask another friend of mine, the very lovely Linz, to help me out with answering your problems. She is lovely such a kind sweet beautiful girl and i've got a photo of her here here she is this is Lynn's. she's got lovely hair i love her hair i mean clearly not as good as mine but it's still nice it's still nice 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 hair very pretty little face look at that face lovely But, yeah, basically, Lynn's can't be here today. I know, I know, it's sad times. But she uh, has already answered the problems because I emailed over to her. She's emailed me back with her replies. Um, and I've got them on my phone and I'll flash. Um, so, yeah, as we go through the problems, I will be saying my answer uh, to the problems and her answers okay it's kind of like those award ceremonies you know like the oscars or something and uh, they say and the winner is blah 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 they're not here you know and someone has to go up so it's kind of like she's here but she's not yeah well it makes sense to me so anyway yes it's gonna be cue the music any music I'll do it myself then. It's going to be Advice with Dolly and Linz. Advice with Dolly, with Dolly, with Dolly and Linz. Advice with Dolly. So, got me list of questions here. Not questions, problems. I suppose it is kind of like a question because they're asking me advice. But anyway, so I've got one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. Seven problems from people. And I want to thank everybody who, you know, sent me and Lynn's their problems. We will try our utmost to help you. Okay. So, at the ready, I've got my phone with the lovely Lynn's uh, replies to the problems. Oh, no, I've just clicked on something else. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, this ain't good. Hold on a minute. It's because I've got a lot of things selling on eBay at the moment. I just clicked on eBay instead of my messages. Hold on. Won't be a second. Okay, here we go. I've gone back. I'm trying to sell me old knickers on eBay. No one wants to bloody know. Anyway, so the first problem says this. Dear Dolly and Linz, 
I am writing to you in hopes you'll know how to help me on this one. I suffer from severe flatulence during periods of stress and it's making all my close friends very uncomfortable. I have tried different diets, tablets to reduce the gas, yoga, scuba diving, even planking didn't work. What's planking? So do I know what planking is? No. Um, my gas is out of control when I'm under a lot of stress, but it's totally gone during the calmer times. Given that my choices are limited at this point, I guess my question would be, how do I gain the people's trust again? How do I make them hang out with me without being embarrassed? Is there a way back? Thank you, Dolly, from a big fan of yours. Oh, no. Um, well, I mean, I don't want to break it to you here, but everyone breaks wins. You know, we all, even if we don't admit it, let one rip now and again. Me, for example, every day I fart about five times a day, at least. And I'm not sure if I like the little tiny pop ones or the big old loud ones. Or, yeah, you know, everybody farts. It shouldn't be something to be ashamed of. And my darling, you know, if you're stressed, I want you to feel nice and calm. Maybe watch some ASMR videos. They help a lot of people. But, you know, if they're friends of yours, they should accept you for you and your faults. Let's see what Lindsay's got to say on the matter. Okay, so she said, um, firstly, I have some tips on helping you relieve your stress and hopefully become less flatulent. It's important to stay calm as much as you can. My advice on that would be to watch ASMR videos. Yeah, I've already said that, yeah. Um, Oh, I've lost where I was. You will certainly feel calmer and relaxed. It also helps to be very active as this helps regulate the problem. Take a nice walk when you feel uncomfortable. Maybe that's why, because I don't really walk and I'm always farting. Sorry, I'll carry on. Eat sensibly, eat light meals, and eat more slowly. See, I don't do that. I'm like... I can't stop eating when I eat really fast. Um, secondly, by doing the above, you should be able to control it and therefore get people's trust again. Thirdly, just laugh about it. <laughs> because it's a you know normal bodily function. Everyone does it. And if you laugh for your embarrassment, everyone will laugh with you and not at you. Oh, wouldn't she lovely? Yeah, I mean, I always have people laughing with me. They're not, they're not necessarily laughing at me. They're laughing with me. Yeah. Okay, that's lovely. So thank you, Linz. She's here. Look, here she is. Thank you, Linz. That was a very nice answer. Ah. Oh. Okay. So we're moving on to the next problem. I hope that helped. By the way. Right. So. Oh, this one's got two questions for Dolly. Dear Dolly, I've been working out the courage to write for you for some advice. Oh, darling. Oh, darling. First, I was wondering if Narnia actually exists. And second, I'm struggling with sarcasm slip syndrome. Was wondering how to make people realise I'm being sarcastic in a fun way, not in a rude way. Oh, one more thing. Why does the number nine smell like bananas? Okay, for a start, what, what's, what's all this? Number nine smelling of bananas? What are you talking about? Oh, there's a banana over there. Very strange. Very strange, that bit. Okay, as for Narnia, I do think, I do think that exists, yeah. I mean, you know, people say that Hogwarts ain't real, where that Harry Pottery fella go, goes, but... I know it's real. I know it's real. So yeah, Narnia definitely does exist. Do you know when I was a little girl, I used to climb in a wardrobe, look for it, never found it. Never found it, but I know it was there. Um, struggling with sarcasm. Yeah, I am too, darling. Sometimes I'm very sarcastic. 
people take the wrong way. You just gotta say, look, I don't mean nothing horrible, darling. I'm just, you know, making it funny, making a joke. If they don't get it, then they're boring, aren't they? Sarcasm's quite funny, I think. Okay, so the answers from the lovely Lindsay say, um, yes, Narnia is actually a place in Italy, but is now called Narni. But if you mean Narnia from the books and the films, then no. What do you mean, Linz? No. Would you... But I tried to go there with my wardrobe. It's a product of C.S. Lewis's imagination. <laughs> Although some aspects of physics do point strongly towards the possibility of there being multiple or even endless alternative dimensions and or parallel universes, then again, it's probably just a load of BS. No, no, I think it's real. I think Nani is real. Oh, she have other answer. Sarcasm slip syndrome. Want people to know it in a fun way, not a rude way. There is a fine line between being sarcastic in a fun or rude way. If you are sarcastic at the wrong time with the wrong person, you could hurt uh, them. If it's at the right time, then you may bring lots of laughs and smiles. So, here's a few tips. Choose who you are sarcastic with. Someone might take offence and you do not want to get yourself beat up. Well, yeah, we've all been there. The amount of birds I've had pulling my hair. It's terrible. Um, um, yeah, be tactful. Avoid telling jokes that the person is insecure about, i.e. their weight. Um, deliver your joke quickly if you wait too long it loses value and you may look silly and listen to what people say they may set themselves up so take advantage of it don't overuse people don't overuse <laughs> people will get bored if it's constant and finally make sure the person knows you're kidding with the wgl rule what's that wgl what's she talking about ah Wink, grin or laugh. People get guaranteed to know the difference and you'll be seen in a more funnier light. Oh, I like that. Wink, grin or laugh. Let's do that together, viewers. Wink. Grin. And laugh. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. Thank you, Linz. Thank you. Thank you, Linz. Okay, next question. Dear Auntie Dolly, I have got a friend who has a real floozy of her friends and I think she's trying to get with her boyfriend. My friend is so trusting and lets this woman give him massages and everything. Okay, not those kinds of massages, but you can tell she's forever trying it on. Sometimes she even films herself in action. That's not right, is it, Auntie Dolly? How can we make sure my friend doesn't lose her lovely boyfriends over this? They are so good together and if he goes off with this floozy, she will drop him like a dead potato as soon as the next fit guy comes along. Love from Marlene321. Well, Marlene, I mean, you know, for a start, there's nothing wrong with being a floozy, okay? Floozies ain't necessarily a bad thing. And as for filming... Methology. I mean, I have filmed with Minx Laura One Two Six his boyfriend, Nathan. Uh, Nathan One Two Five Three. Anyway, so you know, I'll give him a nice massage, nice rub down, film it. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Nothing wrong with that at all. Let's see what Lindsay's got to say. Okay. She says your friend needs to. Sit the floozy down and tell her that she believes something is going on. Nothing will be resolved if she's left to carry on or just ignored. She is no friend if she's willing to steal her friend's man. Look, I only asked Nathan one, two, three out on a drink. It was nothing else, I promise. Um, uh, I would talk to her and then cut all ties. Your friend needs to be strong, independent woman and do that. She must rid her life of any negativity 
starting with this floozy. Regarding the massages, why does your friend not try it for herself? She should ask her boyfriends what he enjoys and try it on him. It could really spice up their love life. It's a very good answer. Thank you, Linz. Thank you. Thank you, Linz. Okay. There's nothing wrong with giving you know, your friend's boyfriend a, a massage. Anyway, moving on. So the next problem says, Dolly, I need advice for a relationship I just got into. We've had history together, but the sole purpose of the time not spent together was to start over. I'm afraid he's using remaining feelings from the last time we were together. Point being, he comes off way too strong. My friend said to just act like a cow whenever he says something too deep. What do you think? Well, if it's the second time around, you don't want to be mis making the mistakes that you made the first time. I think, you know, you, you need to start afresh. It's got to be like a, like a blank page, you know. And uh, if he's coming on too strong, just back off a little bit, back off a little bit. And if you don't get in, you just sit there and you say, darling, you're being too much. Now back the hell off. Just be honest with him, darling, okay? Let's see what the lovely Linz has got to say. If he's coming on too strong or clingy, then you need to tell him. Everyone needs space. If you have constant contact, you may feel like you can't breathe. By giving each other space, there would be more anticipation for when you do talk. You do need to communicate this with him, though, or decide if it's worth the effort. If you do decide it's worth it, then he may be insecure. So by paying him compliments, this will make him feel better and hopefully less clingy towards you. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you, Linz. She's not good, isn't she, at this advice thing? Thanks, Linz. Um, yeah, to be honest, I like a bit of cling. If someone wants to cling to me, I'm not complaining, but everybody's different, I suppose. Okay. Moving on, this problem says, how, to, how do you tell a guy you like him without really telling him or seem like you're chasing him? Yeah, you don't want to be chasing a man. Listen to Auntie Dolly, you never chase a man. You let them chase you. You let them chase you. Okay, I think people think these days women can go after men, it's all equality. But no, listen to Auntie Dolly, she knows best. Let the man chase you. Now, for example, you go out, you have a drink. All you got to do is show him you like him, so a nice low top, bright padded bra, push him right up. And, you know, I think he'll get the hint then, you know. But, that's, you know, that's what I would do, obviously. Um, Lynn says, okay. So I've got a lot of a year's experience in this field, but still don't have it spot on. But I can teach you what I know. To tell a guy you like him without physically telling him, you have to firstly know if he fancies you or there is no point. True, true. If you think he fancies you, then you need to flirt with him. You can do that in many ways. There are four main ones. Okay, let's do this together. So, first of all, eye contact. Don't just stare, gaze towards him so he knows you're paying attention. Like that. Okay. Number two, body language. Angle your body towards him and copy what he does to show you're in sync. A bit like this. Okay. Three, body contact. Touch him slightly on the arm. Give him a gentle poke or a nudge. But don't touch him in appropriate places. See, I'll disagree with that, lovely Linz. I would disagree with that. There's no better way of telling a man you like him than going... Rrr, rrr. <laughs> um, and for compliment him. Men love their egos inflating. So pay him a compliment and watch how he reacts. By doing all this, he should have an idea you like him. But I must point out that most men are thick and need to spell it out. 
and a bit of a tip if you want a man to really commit to you seduce you and chase you and keep that spark going forever you can't just make him love you you've got to make him addicted to you it's very true it's very true thank you Lindsay thank you lovely Linz okay so the next question oh it's getting hot in here isn't it oh I'm sweating up like a pig oink oink <laughs> oh okay next question dear Dolly I need some advice that's what I'm here for I have reached the finals of the world's best beard, beard contest where the first prize is £10,000 but my wife it says she has always hated my facial hair. She has now booked a weekend in Paris for us, the same time as the contest. Oh, that's a bit shit, isn't it? Um, she says if I don't go and also shave off the beards, we're through. No. I love my beards and that it could be the best in the world with a possible cash prize. But I also love my wife. What should I do? I hope that Dolly has an answer as the day of the contest or the shave are very near. Might better hurry up then. Well, at the end of the day, my darling, I don't mind a bit of beard. You know, you've got a bit of fur there, a bit of stubble. Don't bother me. Some women, a bit different. They don't like the, the hairy face. But £10,000. Alright, alright. I know you're married. I know you love her. But come on, money talks, money, money, money. Ain't it funny in a rich man's world? Ah, 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 ah. All the things you could do. Sorry, I do like Abba. Sorry. Um, I don't know. End of day, she loves you. She should be like supportive of you. Bloody hell. You could always shave it after the contest, surely. Um, this is a difficult one, Lynn says. I can see both sides of this. She clearly doesn't find the beard attractive and she would want to feel like her opinion matters. On the other side, it's 10 grand, I told you. I think there needs to be a compromise. I would suggest to her that if she lets you keep the beard for the competition, that you will straight strave it, you will, <laughs> you will shave it off straight after. Great minds think alike. Along the line, she may think, if only to get the beard for one extra day and won the money, then she may regret it. So compromise. You may think the beard is manly, but to your wife, she will think you are more manly for considering her opinion. Plus, depending on how many years you've been married, I doubt she would leave you for the sake of some facial hair. We don't know. Women are funny sometimes, and I'm a woman, I can say that. Um, maybe as a bit of extra persuasion, tell her that if you win, you'll treat her to something spectacular. Oh, that's nice. Maybe she could have a boob job. <laughs> she could get bigger boobs and you two get two, <laughs> you get two new toys to play with. Win-win situation. That's lovely. Thank you, Linz. That's a very good answer. Thank you. You know, it makes me think, someone said to me the other day, Dolly, they said, Dolly, would you ever have a boob job? And I says, no. That's, that's the conversation, I just said no. Okay, so the last problem is this. Dear Dolly, I love your classic makeup look. Oh, thank you. Um, but I can't seem to get my eyeshadow to be as brilliantly blue as yours. Oh, do you have any tips for getting that lovely dark look? Also... How do you keep your friends' men from falling for you? Must fight them off all the time. How do you stay so sexy and keep your female friends from being jealous? Thanks for taking the time out of your busy schedule to answer my problems. Sincerely confused in the southern US. Hello, America. Um, well, for a start off, thank you. Thank you. Um, I love getting compliments, I do. Well, my makeup is a gorgeous colour. As you can see, I've got all the nice bright blue on today. Um, just make sure you get decent blue, darling. If you get any of these cheap ones, ain't going to look like this. You need a nice, decent blue eyeshadow. Nice little brush. You put it on and done. Okay. Um, 
uh, what else did you want? How to uh, stop my friends' men from falling for you? Well, it's old. I'll tell you now, it's old. A lot of my friends, you know, they won't really let their men around me. You know, so what can I say? I'm beautiful. I know that. I know that. Um, <laughs> are they jealous? Yeah, of course they are. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna sit here and say no, they're not. Of course they're jealous. Look at me. I got it going on. Yeah. But I'll just say to them, don't worry, darling. You know, you're okay looking. I'm good and you're okay. And they just can't get used to that. So, thank you for your lovely answer. answer? Question. I'm oh, very hot in here. Sorry. I think I'm losing a plot a bit. Oh. See, at the moment in the UK, it's summertime. So, oh. So what? Sorry. Okay, let's see what Lindsay had to answer. Oh no, it's got, it's gone blank. Oh, here it is. Come back. Okay. Right. She says, um, it does take a bit of practice, but follow the steps to a lovely smoky eye look. First, prep the eyelid with a primer and then let it dry. I don't use no primer. What's primer? Um, is that a type of cheese? Um, this way the makeup will set and not smudge. Apply the eyeliner above the upper lash with the line becoming thicker in the middle of the eye. Going outwards. Outwards. Okay. Apply a light base colour eyeshadow by sweeping a light shade over the lids to your brow bone. Next, get a darker colour and blend it in at the lash line. Lightly blending upwards but never, ever going past the crease. Use a little bit to start with and if you need more, add in small parts. Try and go darker the further towards the outside of the eye you go. And when it's all blended, add another line of eye line along the top lash line and then finish with mascara. Perfect. Oh, that nice. Thank you, Linz. Oh. See, the thing is, like, it feels like she's here, doesn't it? Oh, it's, it's been lovely. I hope that we've helped you with our answers to your problems. Do you want a cuddle? Guess the cuddle come in. Here you go. Anyway, this is the end of the video. So thank you for watching. If you have got any problems for me or for Linz, just leave me a little commenty thing. That would be nice. And I'll get back to you. Um, I really love making videos for uh, the lovely Minx Laura 125s three channel so if you want to see me keep commenting keep doing that tick thing the like video and i will be back so yeah thank you very much and goodbye bye bye bye